Now playing Star Trek Discovery cast gives a lesson in Klingon warning the following contains spoilers for episodes 1 and 2 of Star Trek Discovery. Read at your own risk the Klingons wanted war, and war is what they got in the first two episodes of CBS All Access Star Trek Discovery. The kickoff of the series set off a conflict between Starfleet and the Klingons that will serve as the major backdrop for at least the first season of Discovery. How did a tenuous standoff turn into a full-fledged war, though for that, we have to break down some Trek history. The new series picks up in 2256, nearly a century after the Broken Bow incident that first introduced humans to Klingons. For new Trek fans, Broken Bow was a Star Trek Enterprise episode that revealed the Klingon Empire was being unraveled from the inside by an alien terrorist organization, Sula bin Cabal. A Klingon named Klong was the only one with proof of this plot, but his ship crash-landed on Earth in 2151, where he was shot and killed by a human farmer dooming the 24 great houses of the Klingon Empire to fracture. Star Trek Discovery here's a sneak peek at the title sequence Defracture led to a cold war between the Federation represented by Starfleet, the good guys and the Klingons with no major incidences for over 70 years before Discovery kicks off. Enter Tkovma Chris Obi an ambitious Klingon who wanted to reunite the Klingon houses and restore the Empire back to its former glory to take over the universe. He thinks he is the brave heart of the Klingon race, and the Federation is the British trying to control his people. He would not look as good in a kilt. In episode 1, he set a trap for the Federation which Captain Philippa Georgiou Michelle Yeoh and her crew on the USS Shenzhou walked right into. The Klingons attacked a Federation ship on the outer rim of Federation territory, leading Captain Georgiou and her crew to discover a mysterious unidentified object floating between the nearby binary stars. First Officer Michael Burnham's and Equa Martin Green went to investigate the object which turned out to be Tkovma's ship firsthand and ended up in a fight with Tkovma's torch bearer guard. The Klingons didn't survive the encounter, giving Tkovma all the ammunition he needed to unite the Klingon houses against Starfleet and the Federation. Chris Obi, Star Trek Discovery Captain Georgiou believed in the Starfleet policy of not engaging in military action unless fired on first. That's extremely noble. But Burnham didn't want to listen, because Klingons killed her entire family during one of those not major incidences, when she was a child. She doesn't trust the Klingons to be able to negotiate peacefully, and she was right. Unfortunately, she jumped the gun and committed mutiny to gain control of USS Shenzhou and take matters into her own hands. Just as she was arrested, 24 Klingon ships representing the 24 Great Houses arrived at Tkovma's side. Starfleet backup eventually arrived, but the attempt to come to a peaceful arrangement with the Klingons ended with the Admiral of Starfleet being murdered and his entire ship and crew destroyed. Dozens of other ships went the same way in Episode 2, The Battle at the Binary Stars. Tkovma crushed Starfleet in the skirmish, but Captain Georgiou and Burnham weren't willing to accept defeat. Fall TV popularity contest did Star Trek Discovery prosper. They found a way to sneak aboard Tkovma's ship with a mission to kidnap him to use as leverage to convince the rest of the Klingons to sign a peace treaty. However, the women were ambushed, and Tkovma stabbed Captain Georgiou through the chest before Burnham could shoot him down. The first officer was beamed back to USS Shenzhou as Tkovma's right hand Vok was left to turn his leader into a martyr for the Klingon cause. It's true that Tkovma could have avoided bloodshed if he had been willing to participate in peace talks but from his perspective he was uniting the Klingons for their greater good. The cause will now be taken up by Vok and other Klingon leaders like Laurel Mary Chifo and Cole Kenneth Mitchell, who will be formidable opponents for a shell-shocked Federation. Not a Star Trek fan yeah I'll still enjoy Star Trek Discovery this attack also added a deeper understanding of why relations between Starfleet and the Klingons are so tenuous and icy in years going forward. Starfleet will now spend the first season of Star Trek Discovery repositioning itself as a war entity instead of an exploratory one. These principles founded during this war with the Klingons will establish the ethos that guided Captain Kirk William Shatner and the crew of the USS Enterprise in the original series. Star Trek Discovery continues Sundays at 830,730C on CBS All Access. Full Disclosure TV Guide is owned by CBS.